Let's say you, a heavy dumbbell, and a big block of wood are together in a very small boat. And this very small boat is floating in a very small pool. I know, it's a weird scenario, but it's physics, so please bear with me. Consider each of the following changes and explain whether the water level in the pool will go up, down, or stay the same. A. You pick up the dumbbell, drop it into the pool, and it sinks to the bottom. B. You pick up the block of wood instead of the dumbbell, drop it into the pool, and the block of wood floats in the pool. C. Leave the dumbbell and the wood in the boat. This time, you manage to get out of the boat and to the ground without spilling any water or tipping over the boat. A. When the dumbbell is in the boat, it is floating. That means the mg of the dumbbell gets balanced by the buoyant force. And the buoyant force, of course, equals to the mass of the displaced fluid times g. When the dumbbell sinks to the bottom, it only displaces the equal volume of water. Which means when it's floating, it displaces water that has equal weight to the dumbbell's weight. When it sinks to the bottom, it only displaces water that has the same volume as the dumbbell. And because the dumbbell, of course, is much denser than the water, that means the equal volume of water is less than equal weight of water. So when it sinks to the bottom, it displaces less water than before. Therefore, the water level goes down. For part B, either way the wood floats. Either it floats in the boat or floats directly on the water. Its weight is balanced by the buoyant force, which is the same as the weight of the displaced fluid. So whether inside the boat or out of the boat, the wood displaces equal weight water which means uh, the water level is going to stay the same. For part C, you get to the ground. When you're in the boat, you would displace as much water as your own weight. But once you get out onto the ground, you will no longer displace any water. So of course, the water level is going to go down.